Hey guys, today we talk about the upcoming release of the Air Force 270 and my sneaker thoughts on them. Tune in. Hey guys, welcome to Cut Station where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe, and if you're here for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and even that notification bell so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. So the sneaker conversation you've all been waiting for, the Air Force 270 and its upcoming release and my thoughts on them. Guys, I'm not gonna beat about the bush. I like these sneakers. I like that Nike came out with a new distinguished silhouette of sneakers that is still street credible. But anyways guys, enough yapping about it. Let's get into this sneaker thoughts. So the Air Force 270 is coming from a rendition of the Air Force 180 that was made back in 92. That sneaker was a little bit more bulkier in my opinion and it was still cool, but I like that Nike put a little bit of a twist on this particular Air Force 270 and tapered it out a little bit and made it a little bit more street credible in my humble opinion. In addition to that, there are three things that I like particularly about this Air Force 270 and those things are one, the silhouette overall, two, the air, you cannot ignore the air, and three, the buckle or the strap, also known as the utility buckle, that comes over the forefoot of the sneaker. I think that's a dope aesthetic that was added to the sneaker and I'm glad that Nike had the wherewithal to put that little touch and make it a little bit more futuristic when it came to this Air Max 270 as opposed to the usual strap that came with the Air Force 180 back in the day. Bottom line with this sneaker, I really like it because you could really wear it and it goes along with that lifestyle phenomenon that is going on throughout street wear and all over the sneaker community. So my bad thought when it comes to this particular Air Force 270 is the color combinations that they decided to release on February 10th. I like the blue and the creamy colored or the white colored colorway for the Air Force 270 that's coming out on February 10th, but I don't really like the Safari print that is coming out on that same day. I felt like it was a little bit rushed and it really doesn't remind me of the Safari print associated with the Air Safari and the Air Max Safari color prints. It doesn't remind me of that. For some reason, it reminds me of something like Halloween or you know some kind of general release kind of sneaker that I just really abhor with the color of the orange and the black. I think Nike could have done a little bit better with that color composition and really helps kick in the Safari theme that is associated with the Safari colors of the far Safari sneakers that we do really like as sneaker enthusiasts. So they could have done a little bit better than that. I know I'm being a little bit nitpicky, but I'm hoping that future colorways of this Air Force 270 are gonna come out and they're gonna make up for that, you know, web of a sneaker colorway they came out with for the Air Force 270, the Safari color. Casa question of the day, people. What do you think about this new release of the Air Force 270 sneaker? Is it dope? Is it crap? Let me know down in the comment section below. Will you be copying them? And let's talk about it, people. Hey guys, so my sneaker thoughts are up for today. I appreciate you guys for watching my video. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys all on the next episode of Casa Station. Deuces.